Hey, hey, good morning everybody. It's uh, Monday morning. I hope you've had a fantastic weekend. We have. It's been beautiful. The rain was awesome. We had a great service on Sunday. And uh, we're so grateful to God for all His goodness toward us at this time. But it's good to be able to share these few moments with you. Thank you for giving me that time. I want to just uh, give a quick shout out to um, a couple of people who have really made an impression on us and they follow us so closely on our daily devotions. To Steve and Jen Golder who are overseas again, they came into our church as newbies and we grew to love them, we grew to, they just became incredible volunteers and uh, we miss you guys. We would love to connect with you again coming out here at any shape or form or time, it would be just awesome. But thank you for being such great volunteers while you were here and for all that you have done. You know, one of the terms that they use of a pastor is that of being a shepherd. Now, when you've got sheep like them, you must know you're going to do well. You're going to do very well. So thank you, guys. Quickly, we're back into John chapter 10. And we talk about Jesus, the good shepherd. Not just a shepherd, he's the good shepherd. And we're beginning to realize more and more how important it is to understand who Jesus is. And in John chapter 10, he gives us a metaphor in the whole of the book of John, there are seven of them, where Jesus preaches about Jesus and he declares at the beginning of every one of them, I am, I am the bread of life, I am the door of the sheep, I am the light of the world, and I am the good shepherd. That's the one we looked at last week and we're going to clinch it this week. You know, when you think about a shepherd, I don't think in this context you can talk about Jesus being a good shepherd without reference to Psalm 23. It's a great passage of scripture used so often in so many different ways. It brings encouragement. It brings instruction. I got to tell you, as a preacher, you could preach for weeks and months, maybe even years about that incredible psalm. It tells us so much about ourself. It tells us an enormous amount about who our good shepherd is. But in the first verses, it says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. When you've got a good shepherd, the perfect shepherd, you shall not, definitely shall not want. You know, Jesus is the supplier of everything. God supplies the air we breathe. He supplies the beauty of this place that we sit in. He supplies our, our, our intellect. He, supply, he, he is the God of all supply. There is nothing you need that God does not have and is able to give to you. He is the good shepherd. And he gives you everything that you need. I mentioned in church that there, I read of a, a sign that was put outside a shop that says, if we don't have it, then you don't need it. And I thought about that with God. If God doesn't have it, people, let me tell you, you don't need it. One of the other Old Testament names of God that we see beautifully portraying God is uh, Jehovah Jireh, God who provides and when Abraham stood on that mount to sacrifice his son, he didn't think that God would be able to supply anything. He just knew he had to give his son. And then as he's just about to kill that kid, he turns around and he sees this goat stuck in the thicket. And he means, he says, that God, even on the mountain of my greatest need, in the mountain of my unusual need, on the mountain of this incredible, strange need, you're able to supply People apparently God is. God is able to supply your every need. He is Jehovah Jireh. Now, when you look at people today, one of their primary needs, they say, is, is money. Well, let me suggest to you this today, that uh, many of us will declare ourselves broke. You know? But let me tell you, that's a good term because it doesn't say you're poor. Even though you are broke with a shepherd like we have, you will never be poor. You see... This is important. Broke is a state of my pocket, but poor is a state of my mind. I may not have any money, but man, I have a God who's able to supply every one of my needs according to His riches in glory and in Christ Jesus. So today, celebrate, no matter what state you are in, no matter what state of brokenness you're in, you're never poor because you have a good shepherd who is willing and able to draw alongside you to give you everything you need. Another thought here is that he takes away everything that you don't need sometimes. And when he takes away the things we don't need, we say God's being mean. No, he's not. He's being God. He's being the good shepherd. 
He knows what's best for you. And if he knows that you're about to eat a noxious weed or, or there's a, some bad plant over there, he's going to take that away. Never think, never think, people, that God is being mean when he takes stuff away because he knows what you need. Another thought, God doesn't just give you what you want. I'm sure you've heard that one before. That's a good Christian cliche. He gives you what you need. He doesn't always give you what you want. He takes away sometimes from the things that you have because he knows that you don't need them. But also, he's the one we run to. Don't run to the world to get what you need, people, psychologically and spiritually and emotionally and relationally. Run to the Good Shepherd. He's got everything you need. You're going to have a great day. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.